prebate. Got a Vitalin in there that's been soaked for ages with um, a Method Mix ground bait as well. Mainly halibut pellet. And then here we've got the donkey chokers, got 20 mil and 14 mil, so we're gonna put a load of those out as well. So we're back on the River Seven. We're gonna be fishing it overnight for for barbel. I've pre-baited it for a couple of nights, but I've also bought the, the lure rod down and a few little dead roach, so we might have a crack for us under um, if the barbel aren't playing ball, but um, yeah, there's no fresh water in the river, so it's, it's, I'm not over hopeful, but um, you never know. A bit of pre-bait might just do the good. Might just bring them in a little bit. Yeah. But we'll see, hopefully pick up a zander if we can't find a barbel. Look at that, at the River Severn, unbelievable. He's, uh, so he's gone 26 and he's, do you reckon oh, it'll be a yeah. pain for the sling right there? Yeah, yeah, we'll wait sling afterwards. Yeah. That's it. That's biggest carp I've ever seen. I think. Biggest carp I've ever seen. Yeah, 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 without a shadow of a doubt. Mm, yeah, biggest fish I've ever seen. Yeah, he's right. He's did himself now. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's bloody he ain't nice. too bad, is he? He'll come now. He's looking all right, yeah, isn't he? He's all right, isn't he? Oh yeah, there, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah. ah, well, do you want to just, just weigh that sling, is it? All right, yeah. Just so we've got a record of it. Flipping heck. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. You might be over a pound. Oh, no. Oh, he is. He's over two now, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's over two, I call him. Go, uh, he's 24 then, 24 is he? 24 then, oh yeah, it is, isn't it? 24, bloody hell. Yeah, we'll take that. Can't really see. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's half 12. Um, it's 
still shaking a little bit off from that fish. That was absolutely huge. Um, 24 pound it went in the end. Um, huge common. It was absolutely fin perfect. And I don't even think it had been caught before. It was just unbelievable. And a great fight. It was on the, the lighter rod, so it was only the John Wilson. Uh, it's only probably got a pound test curve, to be honest. So amazing fight. Um, 10 pound line and it was on a, a sticky krill, um, boily, a 20 mil. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. That's my river PB and, well, a lake PB as well. So it was great to get it from a to river in all honesty in the wild. So um, definitely makes the uh, pre-bait worthwhile. Seems a bit of a chore sometimes, but and when you see fish like that, it's the only reason you're catching them is because of the pre-baiting we've done in the evening. So, um, yeah. If we can get a barbel now, I'd be happy. <laughs> no, I'm happy with the carp. I could, I could stop fishing now. That'd be me done it. So, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, great fish. So this is the, uh, the bait that caught the carp, the sticky krill, and they're the 20 mil, and they're the hardened ones, just so they last better overnight, really, if there's eels and stuff about. And then I had that on a um, right. About a size four. I don't see that very well. Um, there we go. Focus. Size four crank. Fairly long hair. You can see that. That's digging the digging in already. Really good hook. I think it's a quarter. And then I just had a lead clip to what pound that would be. That's only a. Maybe two ounces, um, and then that to the John Wilson quiver tip rod, which again is probably a bit too light. You can see it's held together by insulation tape. Um, there we go, signature Avon master line, um, and then the reel was a, a, a Shimano bait runner, four thousand, and it had ten pound line on it. So yeah, that's the. The setup that landed the beast. Um, it's about half seven now. I think that's probably the end of the session. But yeah, what a session! Not for the intended species, but you don't mind bycatch when they're as nice as that. Yeah. Cheers for watching.